Hey everyone, in this video I will be covering how to flash the HTC Thunderbolt. First thing you need to do is make sure you have a SIM LTE card for the phone, preferably a Verizon LTE card, and you actually want to make sure it's removed during the flash. You can find this in the back of the phone under the battery, and it's near the bottom. After you have removed that, you're going to want to make sure unknown sources is checked, and you can find that under menu, settings, applications. And then you also want to make sure debugging is checked, which is under menu settings, applications, and then development. So once you have those checked, you can go to the dial pad and then dial pound pound 3424, hit the send button, and then you should have the option to select diag plus modem and reboot the phone. So now that we have prepared the phone for the flash, we need to make sure drivers are installed. So we can go to Studio Light and click this box at the top right. And you can see under other devices that the phone is reading, but these yellow exclamation points indicate drivers are not installed. <clears throat> so we can go back to the main page of Studio Light and highlight this black arrow at the top middle. Go to Tools and then we can use the driver checkup. So once this finish, finishes downloading and installing, we should be able to connect to the phone. So the driver is downloaded and installed, but they didn't automatically install on the device manager. So to fix that, you can right click on the high tech computer and click update driver software, and then browse my computer for driver software and then we're going to browse to the C drive and then program files. And then you can choose the HTC folder and choose the W modem installer. So once you do that, you can click OK and click Next, and it should install the drivers for the phone. So you're going to want to do that for the remaining items. And once drivers have properly installed, you'll see there is a HTC diagnostic interface, uh, both a non-9K and a 9K port, and we're going to have to flash both of those. So now that we have the phone reading under port 9 and port 11, we can begin the flash. So I'm just going to skip to a new flash. I'll start by connecting to port number 9. So when you first connect to the ports, you'll get this LTE mode detected message. It's important that you do not flash the phone when you see it is. Just go ahead and reboot the phone. I'll connect to the other port first before I do that. So now that we have received that message on both ports, we can go ahead and reboot the phone. After we do that, we should be able to flash it. So now that the phone has rebooted, I'm going to try connecting to port 9 again. So this time we did not get the LTE message, so it is okay to flash the phone. So now you can just go ahead and put the MDN and MIN from the account in. And you can also select who you're going to flash it to on the right. Once you do that, you can click the provision button at the bottom right and choose a basic or full flash. So after this port finishes the flashing, we can reboot the phone by ourselves and then we can connect to the other port, port 11, and flash that one as well. So once we have flashed the first port and rebooted the phone, we can connect to the second port, which is port 11. And then we can just go ahead and put the same MDN and MIN that we put in before. So 
So after you have completed flashing the second port, you can go ahead and turn the phone off, and then you can also put the LTE SIM card back in the phone. First thing you should test is calls. If you have any issues with the phone, please make sure the information you flash, such as the MDN and MIN, are also matching the account. If you see a message regarding the SIM on the phone, verify the SIM is placed in the phone correctly or try using a new one. If you have any other issues, feel free to make a tech request and we can help you guys out. Thanks everyone.